Hi everybody, I'm sitting here with Sharon and she's been giving donation clothes and what suck and bits and pieces in there. She would like to say a big thank you. Here she is. Thank you very much. It's quite embarrassing actually. <laughs> to be it's not your well work. <laughs> no, it's not. It shouldn't be. That's the thing, it shouldn't be embarrassing the you know, there but for the grace of God. So many people, so many families right now are living like one paycheck could make the difference between them sitting here as well. Yeah. And there are thousands of families living like that, like literally in fear every week as to whether or not they can actually pay their bills and still have their home. And it's gonna get worse. Unfortunately, it really is. Yeah, because things are getting tighter and harder, and so therefore, you know, it's not about you say you feel embarrassed. You shouldn't. You know, every single person is valuable. Every single person. Nobody's more important than another person. We're all the same, really. Yeah, all of us the same. And so you absolutely deserve the moon on a stick. You deserve everything. I'm quite unfortunate because I do come from a good family. And I have been to a difference, just like there's people out there that have you know. It's about where do you go from here to yeah. do some of that. Well, we're going to help try, people, isn't it? And, uh, and make that difference and try and, you know, move people out of the system so that they can, you know, we want to do a GoFundMe so that we can start collecting money and slowly sort of put a deposit down on a, a little bed sit somewhere so that somebody like Sharon can, can start to run and own their own lives, get their own dignity back, um, have trust themselves again, um, but not also not be controlled in stupid ways, which kind of breaks their will. You know, you want them to be able to be in a bed sit. We can sort of find furnishings and stuff like that um, and pay a certain, Sweetie, certain amount. Here, and um, I'm going to go to the car and give them some of jackets. Okay. And, um, and build up. And mouth. build up. And then you yeah, can, you can claim the things side. that you're, you're entitled to and then what start to build a process and get a job and do all of those things and, and go back to your normal life. To have self-worth. To have your self-worth. You were saying yesterday about your hobbies. Yeah. You know, it's Dear. things like that that bring you joy, that make life worth living. It's simple things, do you know what I mean? And and everybody yeah. deserves so to have that. Yeah. So, uh, um, so, what do you think we should do to try and get the, the, fund, uh, the funding? Do you think we should go for a uh, golf um, what's it called? Um, it's, it's called GoFundMe. GoFundMe and people do it for all sorts of stuff people do it if they want to be funded to do like a skydiving thing or a, you know, somebody's uh, birthday or if somebody's passed away and they want to do something particular for the person in their yeah. memory so oh. GoFundMe does anything really yeah. and I think that this is a Good really for the homeless yes and, like and so I think yeah. that Julie was talking about you know having a certain putting a certain amount as a goal yeah. So, so that we start with one person and we and we get them so so we can put um we can pay the deposits and things like that um and then that starts to work for itself then yeah. um yeah. with 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 them working with certain help and, and housing benefits helping and then in time they pay a little bit back yeah. which helps the next person yeah and so we just do a sort of rolling thing where we can one person at a time you know, just get people back into owning their own lives. Okay. Well, obviously, um, as you know, we can get uh, Sharon back in accommodation, um, but she's going to still need physical help because obviously she's yes. going to be being on a street for yes. so many years. Yeah. Um, so, what about the funding for something like that? Well, I think also, I think that when you, when we start this ball rolling, if we can get it to happen yeah. that I think again registering with with you know a, a local doctor wherever you're live, yeah. wherever you live ah, people you know and up. then they they can then offer counseling and they can offer a support, support. Yes. Counseling. yes I am seeing them yes. people yeah that's great they are very <coughs> good. that's really brilliant but I think that they are the NHS is so unindated the doctors as well they've been very supportive yes there's so many people that that you know, it's not like in olden days, is it? Yeah, you know, yeah, when you're no, actually... It is, it's, yeah. But I think that ultimately, when you've got your own home, when you've got 
you know, you're getting the support well, that you need it? in order to maintain that. You know, no matter how small it is, it's yours. Do you know what yeah. I mean? And I think once you start that ball, once you get into that situation, I think that you'll Starts you'll get more content, yeah. more support from from different things that then open oh. up to you. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know that that aren't open Scary to you now? Enough. It's really scary. I can imagine that, that it must, would it feel really difficult if you were suddenly found yourself in a, in a bed sit and this has all happened and you're there on your own, would you panic about being able to keep it up? Would you panic? Would it no, frighten no, you? No, no, Because I try and do my own routine and if I did panic, I'd come out to see friends. Sure, you have got some good friends. I, yeah. The, yeah, I do. Yeah, have, yeah I do. And, uh, I can see the support workers, you know, the network sure, that are sure. and the, No, I'd be all right at that. It's just like, oh dear, my phone's going off. Yeah. <laughs> Dave, can you take that camera off me? Because I'm not quite to... <laughs> Stop it. Hi. Hi, everybody. Thank you for listening to Sharon. And uh, as you can see that people uh, want to do something to help her, and uh, you know, I'm so amazed that this is happening today. That people are coming forward, and I'm glad I can share with you. I hope you enjoy what you've heard, and thank you for your support. Please carry on rolling, bring those donations because it makes a huge difference. Without you, we can't do it. I'm really, really, really so grateful for what you do, and I'd like to say a big thank you to Irving. Thank you very much. I'll speak to you again soon.